Hey everyone, what's up? It's Michi, of course, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Smart Moving Mod for Minecraft version 1.3.2 and above. That means it wor should work for future versions to come. Um, feel free to leave a comment uh, if you guys want me to do a another install video on another mod. So, yeah, uh, we're going to get started. What you want to do is you want to open up the three links in the description. You will be taken to the first page, which is the Smart Moving Form page, and then Resigma's Mods page, and then the Player API page. Um, we're just going to go to the first page, which is the Smart Moving page. And in this page, we're going to go and scroll down. Right here it says current version. We're going to go and download the Mediafire Dropbox. I'll go and download Mediafire. So I'm going to click that. It'll be redirected to here. Go ahead and click download. And there you go. Now that's downloaded. Uh, I'm just going to go and close this page for now. And now we need to get Mod Loader from this page. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And we need to find the little downloads right here. It says Mod Loader, whatever version it says. You need to download AdFly Direct. I'll download AdFly because I support the Mod Maker. Of course, you don't have to click Mod or you don't have to click uh, AdFly link. You can always do the direct link, which will do the same exact thing, like this. And now we got Mod Loader, so now you can go ahead and close this link. Now we need to get the Player API. So for here, we're just going to scroll down, and we're going to find the client version, the most recent client version, which is right here. And we're going to go and download Mediafire. And then go and click download. And there we go. Now we have all three parts. We can go and close all these links. Um, close all the spam that opened up in the process. Um, now what we need to do is we need to go to our downloads folder and move all our downloads to our desktop. So I'm going to go down here and go to computer. And my downloads just so happen to save to my downloads folder. What do you know? And I'm going to drag them to my desktop. And there you go. Now that we have that organized and set up, make sure you have everything to your desktop. You could have just saved it as to your desktop. It would have made it far more easier for you, but uh, I always save mine to my desktop, so make sure you have them there. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to go down here to the bottom left and type in percent app data percent and click enter. Now in here you'll see a file called .minecraft. Open that up. And inside here you'll see a file called bin. Open bin. Now in here you'll see an actual file called minecraft.jar or minecraft executable jar file. Right click that and open with winrar. There you go. First things first, always delete the meta inf. So go and right click it and select and delete files. Yes, there you go. Now what we need to do is we need to open up Mod Loader off our desktop. Right click, select all in the Mod Loader folder and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. Click OK. Go and close Mod Loader. And now what we need to do is we need to put the player API into our Minecraft.jar as well. So open that up. Right click and select all and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. Click OK. Go and close the MC, and go and close the API client, now open up the Smart Moving Mod. Now, for the Smart Moving Mod, you got all sorts of little things in here. You're going to need the uh, Client Mod Loader. So, we just need to open Smart Moving Client Mod Loader, which is in here. So, make sure you get that one. Um, don't be getting the, you don't need to worry about any of the server ones, the standalone. Just get Client for Mod Loader. That's all you need. Um, if you've got that, go ahead and... Uh, Okay, let me just close all this spam here. Close this one, because we already have our one that we need open, which is the Smart Moving Client for Mod Loader. So we just right-click and select all, and drag and drop it into our Minecraft.jar. And, oh, great. Okay, wait, wait. My bad, my bad. Um, if you get that error, that's because you just closed it. So we need to close this. And we need to reopen it, which is this, the or Smart Moving Mod. And we need to get the smart moving client for my loader. We need to drag it to our desktop. Then close this folder. Then open the one off of your desktop. And then you can highlight and select all and drag it. So select all and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. See? Click OK. So if you got the error before like I just did, then make sure you drag it you make sure you extract that thing to your desktop first, the smart moving client for mod loader, and then select all and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. Go ahead and close it. We're going to close this as well. And we'll go ahead and show you guys that it works as usual. Um, make sure I don't get a black screen uh, because I hardly ever do during an install video because I wouldn't upload it if I did get a black screen. <laughs> uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, so the mod itself did work. I um, hope none of you got confused at the end there. I was just trying to show an example of what could happen if you didn't do it right. Um, I'm just going to do single player. And I'm going to create a new world. All right, let's go to controls real quick. I don't know if you've got controls. Options, controls. Um, oh, sprint. Okay, they got sprint here. Um, we'll make sprint up. Why not? Done. Done. Single player. The world. We're gonna do a flat world, and it's creative as well. Super flat. So I can just sprint. Show you guys that's working. 
Um, okay, switch by pressing F9. Smart moving. Okay. See, sprint. Oh, okay. I see it. I watch the screen. You can see it kind of zoom in more. Here, let's, we're already sprinting, so now I can sprint even faster. That's cool. Alright, that's just one of the things. I don't really know a whole lot about the Smart Ruby mod. I know that there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in it, but um, I don't really trying to go through all the things to show you guys that's working. You can break blocks, place blocks, everything's working correctly. Um, my sound isn't on because, oh, there it goes. I just installed a new dot mic. Um, so yeah, everything's working. Um, <laughs> holy bazoob. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have fun with this when I make the Fallout map. Alright, well, uh, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.